Back here, 917 FM, or streaming online at whs.org. UConn, a 5-3 winner, crazy game. Three runs in the ninth for the Huskies as they come from behind for the first time this season after trailing after eight. We're joined now by head coach Jim Penders. And coach, uh, just a wild game, especially those last couple innings. Just talk about your uh, vantage point, that ninth inning where Duffin's able to give you the home run to lead off the inning and then eventually able to tack on a couple more. Uh, Joe, I mean, our dugout was super emotional, and, and we said this morning, you know, I said, hey, you can't let the emotions beat us. And yesterday, uh, you got me okay? Yeah, you're good. Yesterday, um, we let the emotions bubble over, and we, we helped to beat ourselves. So they, they did a great job. You give them credit. Their pitcher did a super job. But we, we helped them with, with some uh, emotional mistakes, just playing uh, too amped up. Today, we played amped up, but we were able to just barely keep enough of a lid on it. And Joe... Uh, Duro Stuffin was just locked in there. I liked his chances, and uh, you know, Melly hit a ball hard late. Daniello hit a ball hard late. We didn't get anything to fall. We didn't get any luck. You know, Blake's home run that wasn't called a home run. Um, you know, and then Melly squeaks, squeaks one up the middle. Looks like a double play ball, and and it, it gets through the infield there. And that was kind of the baseball gods uh, helping to even things out. Sometimes it doesn't happen in the same game that it evens out, but uh, we deserve that. We deserved a little luck right there, and. Uh, and it worked out, but uh, heck of a heck of a team win, you know. Rotolo and Jordan Spackman did a good job, but you know, it was one o two pitch again that got him in a little bit of trouble. C and I single, then an o two base hit. They go first and third. I thought he struck the kid out for should have been the second out of the inning. And but you know, you're not going to get a lot of help when you're on the road. And we've been road warriors, and I'm really proud of the way our team fought today. Can you talk about that, uh, the fighting, especially after the Blake Davy home run that was ruled a double, that your team's able to respond with just three outs left and come back and score three in the ninth inning? Yeah, you know, we got a couple loud mouths from the Northeast, and, and, and you know, we got to figure out when umpires are on edge, they're human too, and they're going to, you know, there's going to be a hair trigger there if something goes wrong. But I forgot what you asked me. I, I so How do you like the fight of the team? The fight I, of the team. I, I, I love the fight of the team. Um, you know, we hadn't done that. I, I think Michigan State, were we tied at Michigan we're State? tied, yeah. You know, we hadn't come from behind. And, and done that, and um, we really needed to, and it picked a great time to do it. You know, last game of a 26-game uh, road trip. You know, basically you're on the road for 26 straight uh, straight contests, and, and uh, maybe have another one on Tuesday. Who knows? But uh, just really proud of our resilience. I told the group, um, you know, this morning. I think you're on the bus. We've been a number, we've been a really resilient group, and just a really tough-minded um, group. And uh, you know, that didn't show yesterday. And it showed today, thank goodness.